it's reading time with Gigi. So grab a friend and snuggle up. Tonight we're going to read Sonia's Chickens by Phoebe Wall. Sonia's Chickens. One day, Sonia's papa came home with three fluffy chicks. He gave the chicks to Sonia. It can be your job to take care of them, he told her. Look, there's her little chickies. The chicks lived in a cardboard box in the house while Sonia and her parents spruced up the old coop in the yard. Sonia took good care of the chicks. She liked to keep them tucked in her sweater for warmth. I'll be your mama, she told them. Look at that. She takes very good care of those chickies. Sonia took her job of tending to the chickens very seriously, and they grew quickly into gawky pullets. As her mom and papa went about the duties of the farm, Sonia was proud to do her part. Everywhere Sonia went, her little birds were at her heels, peeping loudly. Look at that. They're just following her around. They say, tip, tip, tip. Every morning, Sonia would rise to the crow of the old rooster and let the chickens out of their coop to forage and play. Sonia made sure her chickens had enough water. She cleaned up their coop and gave them fresh straw. She fed them by scattering cracked corn on the ground and even let them peck it from her hands. Sometimes the chicken found worm for dessert. In Sonia's care, they were soon healthy, full-grown hens. Look at that. She's doing very good. She's being responsible. One morning, Sonia found a smooth brown egg nestled in one hen's straw bed. She put the soft egg against her cheek and said, thank you. Sonia was a good mama to her chickens. Look at that. She's being grateful. She's very grateful for her egg. Every night, Sonia made sure her chickens were tucked safely into their coop. As they cooed and clucked themselves to sleep, Sonia would latch the coop door and carefully shut the gate behind her before heading to her own warm home. Look at that. Chickies go night-night and she goes home to her family. One chilly night, Sonia woke up to a ruckus of squawking and shuffling bump noises from outside. Her heart beat quickly. She rubbed sleep from her eyes, pulled on her boots, and crept out to the check on her birds. The night sky was big and cold, and Sonia wished she had woken her papa to keep her safe from the rustling bushes and shadows. Oh, how scary. It's so dark out there. She should have got her papa. The floor of the coop was frosted with feathers, and Sonia cried out as she counted not three, but two frightened chickens cowering in the rafters above. The third was nowhere to be found. Sonia burst into tears. Before she knew it, strong arms scooped up, and she cried into her papa's beard. Look at that. No, a chickie is missing. Sonia's papa carried her into the house and held her close. When Sonia had exhausted herself with crying, she asked, What took her? A fox? Did he kill her? It's not fair! Shh, said Sonia's papa. What might seem unfair to you might make sense to a fox. And he told her a story. The fox who took your chicken lives in the woods beyond the field, Sonia's papa said. He works hard every day to find food to bring home to his babies. Most of the time he can find mice and moles, but sometimes the fox needs a big meal for his family, so he does everything he can to find one. He didn't know or care that it was our chicken he took. He just saw a chance to feed his family. I know you feel sad, but you wouldn't want those baby foxes to go hungry, would you? Sonia thought about it. No, she said. I guess not.
the fox's baby is called a kit. Like a baby chicken is a chick and you are a child, said Sonia's papa. I do everything I can to make sure you are happy and have a full belly and a warm place to sleep. You did everything you could to make sure your chicks were happy and had full bellies and a warm place to sleep. Because you love your little chicks like I love you. The fox is no different. He loves his kits too. So even though it's sad for us, we can understand why he did it. Look at the little foxy with his baby. The next morning, Sonia laid a few special stones to mark a grave for her chicken in the corner of the yard. Together, she and her family remembered the hen who had been soft, who had loved worms, and who had laid that first smooth brown egg. A bird who was loved, Sonia said. Sonia's mom said, giving her a kiss. Sonia's heart was heavy, but as she mourned her chicken, she thought too of the happy baby foxes living deep in the woods. Sonia and her family repaired and reinforced the broken siding of the coop where the fox had gotten in. And while she still was a little sad, Sonia remained vigilant in caring for her other two hens. She made sure that she had enough water. She cleaned their coop and gave them fresh straw and scattered cracked corn for them to eat. Look at that. Best of all was the day that one of the smooth brown eggs began to crack. Ooh, look at that. One of the eggs is hatching. To her delight, Sonia had a brand new chick. I will be your mama, she said. I will do everything I can to make sure you're happy and have a full belly and a warm place to sleep. And she did. The end.